What's happening? It's Sir William and today I'm in Phoenix, Arizona at Arizona Toy Pros and I'm going to be fixing a problem with Apple that is super common on 5th Gen 4 runners. Let's go check it out. The skid plate actually mounts in the front right here and it mounts to this rear cross member. But the problem is, is these bolts in here are actually broke off and stuck down in there. And this is super common and it happens a lot. We're going to fix it up. We're going to show you how we're going to fix it up. Inside the frame rail, you have these square bolts and these are welded. The stock skid plate, it actually bolts it up right here yeah. and the uh, nut inside the cross member actually broke off in that that was the very first time I had this issue so we don't even have to worry about getting those bolts out once he breaks that weld in there they're just gonna pop out anyway then we're gonna drill that hole bigger so that way it can accommodate a bigger bolt uh, for the heavier skid plate the stock skid plates that the Forerunners come with are these stamped steel skid plates, and while they're not as beefy as some of the aftermarket ones, they're a lot stronger than many people give them credit for. I've beaten banged on this thing across all sorts of terrain for many different years, until finally the skid plate just no longer fit on the truck properly. I then went to a TRD aluminum skid plate, the same one that you find on the TRD Pro models, and I was really disappointed with the performance of that skid plate as it didn't hold up hardly at all. Just a few months and it was actually broken in some places. So this year the folks over at Yoda Mafia hooked me up with this really beefy skid plate. This skid plate is all steel and it takes the place of the front and the middle skid plate, but it also weighs about 45 pounds. So I highly recommend upgrading your hardware, which is what we're doing here because this is so much heavier than the factory skids. Now you saw how easy it was for him to break the weld on that bolt that's inside that cross member. That's why this is super common. So if the bolt doesn't break off into the nut inside that cross member, then you'll have what you just saw, which is that uh, the weld of the nut itself will actually break off. And then you got a uh, no spot to actually tie into. anymore and if it is we can fix it with a grinder so then back here we added some spacers up front we added some spacers so that way it's sitting nice and neat and no noises. Plus it allows a little bit of drainage too. So you say that's not coming off the frame? Well, I wouldn't put it past you, but I'd say it shouldn't come off the frame. Yeah. Right on, so recap, so we drill out the back cross member here, we put a bigger bolt in. I usually just take a punch and punch the center, the, the nut circuit that's in there from Toyota, just, it's too much to drill. So once you punch that out, it's easy to make the hole a little bigger for the uh, M12 or M10 flange nut to sit up in there, then you run the bead around it. And if you ever have to, you just grind the weld off, put another M10 head in there. But they're pretty sturdy, they shouldn't, uh, shouldn't strip the threads if you do it gingerly, I guess. And then we put the spacers in there too to get it down off of the cross member yeah, and off of the where diff. These, where these notes sit is a little bit higher than this part of the cross member. So if anything, it'll be stretching bolts and that's where they pop and break. So you have to run a spacer on the rears um, to, so that you're not cranking the skid plate up to try to tighten it. It's actually just tightened at the tight points. And then I like to do a little bit thicker spacers so that you have some drainage. And with your diff drop, it clears it as well. Uh, we also did the same thing in the front just for some clearance. And we went from an eight to a 10 bolt, which is yep. a pretty big difference. I mean, it's pretty substantial at the size difference. I don't know the exact tensile strength, but it should hold the skid plate in four places a lot better than the other bolts. The eight. Uh, you know, grade eight, whatever, but I use all metric hardware, so it just matches to it and stuff. Right on, man. Well, hell yeah. yeah. So now I can go beat and bang on it some yeah. more, right? Yeah, you can find whatever bolt you need to fit there. Oh, right into it, so. Right on. In a pinch, you can fix it. Or if you need to sell your skid plate bolts to fix something on the truck. Yeah, there you go. 
All right, well, that's going to wrap up this short upgrade video. Huge shout out to the folks over at Arizona Toy Pros. They're one of the only shops in the nation that I trust to work on Apple, so I highly recommend you check them out if you're in and around the Phoenix area. Also, a huge shout out to Yoda Mafia. Like I said, this skid plate is an absolute beast. The link is down in the description if you want to check it out, but I look forward to beating and banging on it for many years to come. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like it. And until next time, you guys keep hanging in there like a hair on a biscuit. And remember, you can be happy if you've a mind to. Peace, y'all.